So I've had hearing loss for 15 years and my mother had it and mine I came on gradually, but I found that I was having a very hard time in meetings and hearing others, hearing my wife speak. And it was a problem because I would not know what was going on. I had to um, assume answers, assume conversations, and it just, it was very, it became very difficult. There were times when I was um, answering questions that I had not been asked, and that was never good. So it was, uh, it was a problem. And the tinnitus was, uh, keeping me awake at night sometimes and it was just um, it got to the point where I knew I had to do something. My biggest fear was the embarrassment of having to wear a device in my ear and it, the feeling that I would look and appear old to people and they would judge me that way. I was embarrassed to have a device in my ear. So the original device I had was an in-the-ear device and it was very noticeable, it stuck out. And now with the device that fits behind my ear, it's almost unnoticeable. Um, so there's a big change in, in my feeling and I think in the perception of others. And I think that it's become more commonplace to have hearing aids now than it was 10 years ago. I'm retired and I do a fair amount of charity work and I, as part of that I am in a lot of meetings uh, with other people and it's very important that I hear and understand what's going on and particularly now with the virus going around more and more of the meetings are uh, over the computer with uh, video conferencing and in a large room with multiple people talking at the same time, I was missing a lot of conversations and now that's a lot less likely to happen. I feel like I'm in more control, I can participate more, and, and uh, I don't have to ask people to repeat themselves. And that's true with both the in-person meetings, which I haven't had a whole lot of them recently, but even more so with the, uh, the video conferencing meetings. It's, uh, it's made a big difference for me. Do it. Don't be embarrassed. Don't be afraid. Do it for the people you love. Do it for your own well-being and do it for your mental health. Uh, it's not a big deal to get it treated and it's a huge deal.